change from year to year. In fact, three or five years, you can have a totally different car. Unless, of course, you were talking about the Volkswagen Beetle. In fact, this body style goes back before World War II. And when it first started coming in the United States in 1949, well, it didn't change very much after that. So just for fun, we're going to compare the difference between a 1952 Volkswagen and a 1963. So what's different about them? I got it. Split window. In the early 1950s, Volkswagen had a split window, an oval. By 1963, it was a much larger window. On the back, well, the engine cover actually looks like it has beetle wings in the early 1950s. By 1963, those were gone. The turn signals, well, in 1952, it was these things. They're called semaphores or trafficators. They would pop out to signal you were turning. By 1963, they had moved to the top of the fender. The 1952 had this Wolfsburg crest, and it's subtle, but if you look at the 1952, you can see the window is a little more rounded. By 1963, it was a little bigger. You could see just a little bit more. But the bottom line is, if you can't tell the difference between a 52 and a 63, well, you're like most people, it's pretty hard. This one's in the staging lanes on the way to the block shortly. Yeah, Rick's one of those guys who thinks Beatlemania was all about America's love of tiny, underpowered German cars. A while ago, we were talking about that what's the difference feature about between the 1952 and the 1963. Here is the 1952. You know, some people think split window and they think 63 Corvette. Other people think split window and they think early 50s Volkswagen. Well, the split window was done for a very practical reason. Note this windshield. The glass is completely flat. Curved glass costs more to make. And as you come around to the rear window, yes, it is two separate pieces of flat safety glass. Save money, and that little spine there added a little extra strength to the body. And these have a very unusual accelerator pedal. Instead of a pedal, there was a roller. Let's stick a light on it here. Kind of a weird little deal, but yes, a lot of folks don't realize that uh, the roller, that's how you stepped on the gas and got down the road. Pedals replaced that about 1964 or so. Now, there's no external fuel filler. You look here under the what we now call a front, and you'll see the gas cap and the gas tank. Because it's under there, and no gas cage, right, Steve? You had to skip that tank to find out how much was in it. Hey, guess what, guys? This is now the top seller of the day. We've caught forty thousand. We're forty-two thousand dollars. We got a phone bidder involved. Somebody on the floor. There's a lot of love for this car. This would have had a twenty-four horsepower motor. It now has a thirteen hundred cc supercharged motor, so it's got a little more oomph to it. Which it seems like in the Volkswagen world, well, it seems to be no harm, no foul. Most people with Volkswagen don't seem to be bothered by that. There it is. Yeah, Chucky Supercharger, vintage speed equipment. I love the fast little bit of air filter. Look at that with the steel mesh. Vintage speed equipment. How cool is that? Look at it, a huge fuel filter. So that's, that might be supplemental alcohol to our lot of central even Those are my best when it's a sounding rubber. Yeah, that's more cool. anti knock liquid. Something. Now, I'll hold a business card up next to the taillights. Look at how tiny they are. But they did the job. Yeah, in fact, I believe in 1952, that was the first year of having two taillights. Previous to this, they only had a single one. This is a sleeper. I mean, that engine probably is about 60, 70 horsepower, which triple the stock number, right? A sleeper in its own way. Because we're not talking massive horsepower. Is that dead stock look from the outside and that powerful engine sort of underneath? And now we're closing in on fifty thousand dollars worth of air. Right, if I told you this morning that the number one seller of the day midway through would be a 1952 Volkswagen Beetle, Mike, would you believe me? No, not, <laughs> not for any amount of money, Rick. But there are